pre-D learners. This video is going to explain the concept of geometry and what are the theorems that we will be following to solve the problems right from checkpoint, IGCSE, maybe sometimes you will be using it for your A's and A level also indirectly. So that's what we are going to see yet. Um, this video, this check uh, PowerPoint is going to give you that ideas of uh, the knowledge which is required for a complete checkpoint and part of the IGCSE. So let's get into the PowerPoint. So initially, general properties. This is what uh, you have learned maybe from your fifth grade or fourth grade. Uh, these are the three properties have been concluded as general properties. So angle on a line is 180 degree. So angle on a line is 180 degrees, which means in the first diagram, which you can see in the right side, that shows that on a line there are two angles, one is 110 and another one is 70. If we add both, we are getting 180. So maybe one of the angle is going to be unknown and we will be solve the problem. So the property what we have to keep in our mind is angle on a line is 180 degree. The second very important property is angle around a point is 360 degree. So maybe uh, this line below the line, if you uh, join the angle that is going to be 180 180 plus 180 totally 360 but even you can look into the second diagram and you see one angle is 170 another one is 90 and another one is 100 uh, you just uh, you don't consider that it, it, actually the diagram is not to scale so simply three angles are there but when we are adding the three angles it should give 360 degree that is the property we have it actually and we'll be using it for the problems and the third very important property what we will be using it regularly sum of all interior angle of a polygon is uh, n minus 2 into 180 degree. Basically we learned in our lower grades like angle sum of all angles of a triangle is 180 sum of all angles of a quadrilateral is 360. Maybe if they are going to ask us what is a pentagon what is a hexagon octagon so decagon anything if they are going to ask it we might not aware of it and we might forget it but some of you know this formula n minus 2 into 180 degree this n refers that number of sides for example maybe you can consider the triangle it has three sides so n refers the three so three minus two one one into 180 so that's why we are getting the triangles interior angles add up to 180 suppose if it's a quadrilateral it has four sides and in the formula if you substitute four minus two into 180 it is four minus two is two two into 180 is 360 so that's how we are getting for uh, pentagon is also 540 so we can find it for any other shapes so you don't need to keep only a single formula for a triangle quadrilateral like that as a property you just keep this as a formula plus property so sum of all interior angles of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 degree that is the third important property uh, in the next window we will be seeing some of the examples problems to understand the concept but you just have to keep these three important points in your mind that is angle on a line is 180 angle around a point is 360 sum of all interior angle of a polygon is n minus 2 into 180 we will work out some problems and will ensure that how we have to solve the problems by using these three properties so let's start solving the problem so the property what we have seen is the three properties we have seen the one is angle on a line is 180 angle around a point is 360 degree and the sum of all angles of uh, polygon is uh, n minus 2 into 180 degree and by looking at the shape we can able to understand that it is a line actually because only one side of the line has been angles are mentioned so that we are going to use all the angles add up to 180 degree so we will be adding all the angles and we will be writing it uh, we will be equating it with 180 degree so first how we have to write it maybe you will be getting confusion you know that or you might uh, know how we have to calculate it 25 60 you will do mind calculation but how will you be writing it as a steps it's first simple add each angles the three angles are given add them for adding you can use the symbol addition it's 25 plus a plus 60 equate it equate it with 180 so equate means equal symbol will be using it the next work is just uh, Add the like terms so 25 and 65 can be added we'll be getting 85 85 plus a equals 180 the next step we just have to isolate the known and unknown so here actually known and unknown are mixed so I'm just keeping 
a alone here and moving this 80 to that side if it goes that side it will subtract so 180 minus 85 if I subtract I'm getting the value of 95 degrees so a equals 95 is the answer that I'm getting it yeah so that's it we got the answer so these are the next two problems that we are going to solve it uh, so these two problems are also relating the same property that is angle around a point is uh, 360 degree because you can see it here angle around a point even here then you might ask me that why it is why two different problems but the first one it is very easy like the first one the previous problem and this is only one variable there are no numbers you can see that so I felt maybe these kind of problems will help you to give more understanding so here as usual we just have to write the equation it's going to be h plus 110 plus 140 and we have to equate it with 360 because it's second property angle around a point is 360 degree this total value will be equal to 360 so the same word what I'm using I'm just use replacing it with math symbols so the second step is I have to add the like terms 110 and 140 if I add it I'm getting 250 equals 360 then next I just have to isolate that known and unknown so uh, 250 will go that side it will subtract it's going to be 360 minus 250 and when I'm subtracting I'm getting the answer 110 so this is what the answer let's start solving this one so what's the property the same property uh, so three angles are mentioned one angle is with square symbol so we know that if it's square symbol it's 90 degrees so let's start adding it let's start from here so x plus 3x plus x plus this 90 this is equal to 360 degree and I have to add the like terms so even previously I did not see that you have to add the numbers it's just add the like terms so if I'm adding the like terms these are the four like terms x plus 3x plus x it's 5x uh, plus 90 equals 360 and then next step I have to isolate the terms so 5x equals 360 minus 90 so I will be getting answer as 270 degree so if 5x equals 270 then what will be x it is 270 divided by 5 and if I simplify uh, 5 5 is 25 to 4 x I am getting as 54 degree in the same question they can ask uh, if find the largest angle so what is the largest angle this is 90 this is 54 this is 54 and you can find this 3x what is 3x is it is 150 uh, 162 so it's which is the largest angle so it's 162 so you can substitute and read it and it is not necessary to substitute all the parts if you realize that 3x is the largest only substitute 3x and find it that's it so this is the next question that we are going to solve it and you can I think you have related it the property what we are going to use is sum of all angles of interior angle is n minus 2 into 180 degree but you might think that they did not ask you what is the total angle added to they just asked that interior angle then how are we going to find it so that's why actually I did not give triangle or quadrilateral because if it's triangle you know that it is n minus 2 into 180 degree is the general formula and for triangle you'll be using 3 minus 2 into 180 and 3 minus 2 is 1 1 into 180 is 180 so for triangle it is 180 for quadrilateral it is going to be 4 minus 2 into 180 so it's not triangle it's quadrilateral it's 2 into 180 it's going to be 360 but this shape is what what shape it is it's actually it has maybe you forget the name of the shape no worries you don't want to know this name if you know the formula 1 2 3 4 5 so the shape has five sides so what will be the total angle add up to it is going to be 5 minus 2 into 180 5 minus 2 is 3, 3 into 180 will be getting 540 as answer. So the total angle added to 540. So let's do as usual. So all the angles will be, all the interior angles will be added up to 180. So if I'm going to apply this, what are the angles? Let me start from here. So A plus A plus A plus A 
plus 100 so 5 angles are there that is equal to 540 and 4a plus 100 because a plus a plus a plus a 4a plus 100 equals 540 and 4a equals 100 will go that side it will subtract so 540 minus 100 so 4a is 440 and a will be 440 divided by 4 it is going to be 110 you might ask me now uh, suppose uh, suppose if that if I have a different shape do I where I have to make changes so here only you will be making changes instead of 540 you'll be writing that respective shape suppose if you are having a triangle you'll be writing in this place 180 you'll be equating with 180 suppose if it's a quadrilateral you'll be equating that whole left side with 360 Suppose you have any other shapes with 6 sides, 7 sides, 10 sides or 12 sides then if it's 12 sides then it's going to you are going to equate it with 1800 so that's how first you'll be implementing this formula to get to know that what is the total angle add up to then what are the integer angle values they have given that everything you'll be adding it and equating with the value what you found in the first step so here you have to combine those steps and that's how you'll be getting it let's go to the next slide to know about the next type of properties so the next uh, properties what we are going to learn is all going to be based on regular polygons so regular polygons I have given example here started with equilateral triangle square regular pentagon and until regular dodecagon which means the shape which has that equal equal side length and then angle values are all the same then that shape will be considered as a regular polygon and here uh, number of sides of polygon how we have to find out that number of sides of a polygon it is 360 divided by exterior angle so what is exterior angle and interior that we will be seeing it in the examples what I'm going to work out so as of now the formula is number of sides is equals to 360 by exterior so if exterior is the input we can find number of sides the same if you have number of sides you can get uh, by using the second one I gave as a second property that is exterior angle equal to 360 divided by number of sides then other than the two the third property is interior angle plus exterior angle is equal to 180 degree so if you add both interior and exterior it will be equal to 180 so these all the three are interrelated suppose if they have given interior with the help of interior you can calculate what is exterior if you have exterior then you can calculate how many number of sides so if, if any one is going to be the known and uh, the other two is going to be unknown values can be broken it by using these three properties suppose if you have number of sides we can get exterior and uh, interior if you have exterior by using exterior you can find number of sides by using exterior you can find interior so simple let's see one example and then let's see how the problems are going to be Okay, let's see some example questions to understand the properties which we have seen in the slides. Uh, so the very first problem what we are going to see is calculating the x and y in this given shape. Actually, it's a very good problem which can connect all the three properties in a single problem. So we can see it here. Uh, so these x and y are the interior and exterior. The angle which is inside the polygon. If you take a polygon like this, if you then this is these all angles are interior this 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 is everything interior and we know how we have to calculate and find it uh, simply we can find it uh, by using the 10 minus 2 into 180 degree that is a very simple example that we can find it but uh, they didn't mention whether it is uh, equal or not so that what we can do here only clue what has been given as x plus y equals to 180 degrees so first of all we can calculate every sides uh, they did not say it's a regular polygon but they said all the angles are equal that itself says that it's a regular polygon so finding it how many sides this polygon has one two three four five six sides so exterior angle is equals to 360 divided by 6 if you divide it you'll be getting 60 that is the exterior exterior is named as 6x here so x equals to 60 is the value after that they said x plus y is 180 because the previous slide properties angle and align is 180 so that we will be using it x plus y equals 180 so that x is 60 plus y equals 180 
so y value will be getting as 180 minus 60 it is 120 will be getting as answer so actually we had number of sites with the help of that we calculated exterior then after that with the help of that we calculated what is interior angle is um, that's it dears uh, we'll see one more example at how that properties are works let's see so the next question what we are going to solve is okay this is the expected question the previous one is unex unexpected but better uh, here that calculate the number of sides of a regular polygon so they mentioned it's a regular polygon whose interior angles are each 156 degree so interior angle has been given as uh, 156 degree so if you have interior we can get exterior because ex interior plus exterior is equals to 180 so exterior will be 180 minus interior that is 156 if you are subtracting it you will be getting 24 as the exterior angle value so if we have that exterior angle as uh, 24 then we can calculate what is that number of sides the number of side the formula is 360 divided by uh, number of I mean exterior angle this is the formula actually and in this particular problem we will be doing 360 divided by 24 uh, and we are getting the number of side as 15 so that a polygon has that shape has 15 sides so that's it simple so only if you know the property just related uh, interior to exterior from exterior to number of sides that's it you can get it yeah so the next problem what we are going to work is this 12th one not, not 10th and 11th year you see um so 12th one it's an extensive one but still we can do it the two sides of a regular pentagon are produced to form the angle x what is x so this is a regular polygon they mentioned it's because regular pentagon they mentioned that name also so it has five sides pentagon means uh, if we what is this angle this is interior yeah we can calculate interior and we can calculate exterior but what do we want we want x x means it's a triangle they mean it is actually a triangle so if you have these two values then easily we can calculate x so how to get the exterior exterior angle is what involved so no need of interior we don't need to find it so 360 divided by five sides and if you use this uh, 360 divided by 5 so exterior we are getting is 72 so this angle value is 72 this angle value also 72 so if you add both of them we'll be getting 72 plus 72 it is 144 so you can write like this it's a triangle so 72 plus 72 plus x gives 180 so 144 plus x gives 180 and x gives 180 minus 144 that gives us an answer for x as one just 36 degree so that's how we'll be finding it we'll go through the first question what we have solved and we will approach it in different way that also i will tell you um previously we used that interior plus exterior is 180 exterior 360 by number of sides so like that we found it but here what is another way to find out the values they actually we have realized that it's a regular polygon then only we could use the properties too so once we are realizing it, it's a polygon that is enough and if it's x and y so this is y because if outer angle is x and the interior must be y so y y y and y so how many y we have so 6y so 6y will be equal to what what shape it is it's actually the shape has six sides maybe that name is not striking or it, i don't know no no problem as i said it is 6 minus 2 into 180 it is 4 into 180 i'll be getting 720 degree so 6y equal to 720 because there are 6y i can write one more step like before y plus y plus y plus so 6y we can add and equate it with 720 because this shape has six sides in it no need to be a, a i mean a regular pen polygon also so now i'm getting y equals 720 divided by 6 that answer as uh, 120 so if y is 120 simply i can find x as 60 because 120 plus 60 what makes 80 degree 
so that's it here actually number of states involved but it is we did not use the property this is also the way of solving the problems so here we finished the properties on regular polygons let's go to the next slide it is parallel and transversal so what does it mean be parallel and transversal when two parallel lines are there and it intersected by one another non-parallel non-vertical line and there are eight angles formed and they are all interrelated all the in I mean odd number values of angles are equal even numbers are equal and odd d1 equal to 180 that's what we have named it in the different ways like uh, you can see here corresponding alternate vertically opposite co-interior angles even you can take 1 plus 8 equal to 180 that is co exterior that also you can take it the properties are alternate angles are equal corresponding are equal vertically opposite are equal co interior or supplementary so first of all when we are seeing that alternate are equal angle 3 and 5 so angle 3 and 5 angle 4 and 6 you can see it so if any one angle you are taking interior that in between the two parallel means you should consider that pair also should be interior so the pair is going to be 4 5 6 and uh, it should not be in the same side so 6 is out it can be 5 and it should not be the adjacent so 3 and 5 so to be an alternate angle if it's interior a pair also must be the interior then it should be on the different side of the transversal if it's left and that should be in the right and if it's right that should be in the left then it should not be the adjacent mm, the same way corresponding corresponding if you're taking one as exterior and another one must be interior and it should be the same side of the transversal and so for one uh, 4, 5, 8 are the same side and 8 is the exterior so not possible 4 and 5 are the possibilities and it should not be the adjacent so 1 and 5 are the corresponding so that's how that corresponding angles 1 uh, same in same side of the transversal the one angle is interior and another one angle is exterior and not adjacent then they are equal and that is called as corresponding but in the same uh, interior alone if i am taking one is left and another one is right not adjacent then that also equal uh, based on the alternate angles property vertically opposite like if any angle any lines are intersecting each other then opposite angles will be equal one and three two and four five and seven six and eight like that co interior angles as i said that one and all the one and uh, I mean all the odd and even angles are same and here odd and even only uh, pair the linear pair so that they both will be added to 180 so any odd and any even if you add you will be getting 180 degree one special case is co interior co interior angles are added to 180 let's see the problems and how it works so in this problem we can find it in very many ways but uh, let me tell you all the possibilities so if 64 is the given value and a is a and the 64 are linear pairs so a plus 64 equals 180 so that i can calculate the value of a as 180 minus 64 that is uh, 116 and the b value if i have a a and b are co interior so that uh, b value must be b plus a will be equal to 180 degree so that b value will be 180 minus a that is 116 i will be getting 64 as the value for b if i have b as 64 and one another possibility also i will tell you how you have to find it um, if b you just check here b is here b and 64 actually both are on the same side of the transversal and one is interior and exterior so corresponding angles are equal so directly you can write b equal to 64 and if somebody is asking how did you say because of corresponding angles so that is the reason i can give and i can say that answer the next thing is b and c are vertically opposite so if b is 64 c is also 64 degree so that's it so we finished it let's see another example so this is the next question that we are going to solve and uh, we, even this can be solved in very many ways this is 42 and uh, this line is a perpendicular one so that is 42 this gives this as 48 if t is 48 q is also 48 because this is a transversal alternate angles 
both are interior and one is left and another one is right so that this will be 48 cm value or you can even use triangle property and you can get what is us and now this 42 and v are vertically opposite so that this is going to be 42 degree so it's simple so suppose if we are taking any uh, parallel and transversals so for this line this is uh, alternate for this line this is alternate and for this line this is alternate for this line this is alternate so that's how the angles are framed it um, so corresponding means it should be the same side so for alternate it should be left and right are pairs and both should be the same I mean interior to interior or exterior to exterior in the same case if you are taking corresponding uh, left and left uh, interior to exterior and exterior to interior are pairing up and you know that co vertically opposite if any two angles are intersecting this and this are vertically opposite this and this also vertically opposite and uh, co interior any two angles on the same side of the transversal uh, both should be interior or else exterior. There are co interior and exterior angles. That's it. Let's see that another property. So, we finish this parallel and transversal. We'll go to the next one that is properties on triangle. So, in the triangles, what are the properties we have? That the first property alone will be using it for the problems, and then second is very detailed. Mostly, we'll be using it for IGCSE, but in rare times, we'll be using it for. Uh, uh, checkpoint also okay let's see the first property exterior angle is sum of two interior opposite angles so if you're taking any exterior angle exterior means that uh, when you are extending any one of the side the remaining or a linear pair of that interior angle is called as exterior that e that will be same as this two interior angle this whole i1 and i2 so that's what uh, mentioned in the first property the second one altitude and median are same in the isosceles triangles altitude means the perpendicular line from the vertex uh, from the vertex to its base it will be perpendicular and the median means the line actually these two sides will be equal this and this will be equal that's what uh, midpoint it's giants midpoint and then vertex which means that is median and any line which is perpendicular to the base from the uh, vertex will be called as altitude but they said altitude and median are the same for the isosceles triangles let's see in examples how it works for the problems uh, so just now we have seen the property that exterior angle uh, any side is extended and a, a angle which is linear path to that interior is called as exterior that is equal to two interior opposite angle so here e will be equal to 71 and 58 that's sum so if i add i'm getting 129 so value of e got it so then another way is also there that is actually if 71 and 58 if i have i will be able to calculate what angle is this because maybe i can take this as x x plus 71 plus 58 equals 180 then i will be writing that step that is y x plus 129 equal to 180 then again x equal to 180 minus 129 then x equals to uh, 51 degree I will be getting it after that x and e are linear pair so x plus e equal to 180 then e equal to 180 minus x that is 51 then I will be getting 129 as answer for e this is a long process but whenever you are seeing the exterior and two interior angles are known add these two values that will be equal to the exterior so that's why to make your work easier I gave this problem to you I mean this property to you it's not by me it's by mathematicians I'm just asking you to use for the problems to make your steps easier and you can save your time so the next one is median and altitude are same for uh, uh, isosceles and equilateral triangle first I will tell you what is altitude is actually uh, I don't have any problems to solve that because it's going to be very detailed and very deeper uh, when I'm going to solve the problems um, 
so for example if this is the triangle I'm just considering BC as the base for the base BC I'll be finding what is the midpoint so if this is the midpoint I will be connecting this vertex the third vertex A and M so this line is called as median for any type of triangle and let's see what is uh, altitude is so now I will be considering a different triangle PQR and now I'm not going to take the midpoint I'm just going to draw any one of the line uh, line actually that should be straight because that is what needed here when I'm drawing any line that line should be perpendicular but here it is not like that suppose if I have a triangle like this when I'm joining midpoint then it will be more than 90 this will be less than 90 it won't be exactly 90 but uh, here actually simply I'm, I'm, I'm taken and you can see it when I draw that line perpendicular line this line is called as altitude so actually they both have a different role median means from the top vertex to the midpoint and the altitude means from the top vertex to the base it is going to be the perpendicular so it there are two lines and they have uh, two different forks they are doing it uh, just understand this in equilateral triangle and in uh, isosceles so equilateral triangle and isosceles triangle don't read it as exterior and interior equilateral and isosceles alone uh, maybe you like uh, lack of lapis will be using one same person as uh, doing the another work right so in the same way it is going to work so it's like if uh, I'm drawing if I'm connecting the midpoint and then the top vertex so a b c is there and if I'm connecting the midpoint now you'll be thinking that this has median but if it's going to be the uh, isosceles triangle or equilateral triangle the same is what altitude also because the median will be acting as altitude so median and altitude are same for uh, both I mean median and altitude are same for both uh, equilateral and isosceles triangles actually the one line itself will be considered as median and as altitude suppose if you see for this question maybe here uh, midpoint and median will be this one as median and for this if you see maybe it is going to be the perpendicular so one median one altitude one median one altitude but for equilateral and isosceles alone they both are uh, same so how it is going to help us we know if it's equilateral or isosceles these two sides will be equal uh, if it's equilateral this base also equal but now since it is acting as median these two sides also going to be equal so these two sides also equal uh, because of um, median and this is 90 degree maybe 90 degree means you can relate that this and this are perpendicular to each other so their gradient will be negative one so if you are a uh, right check point student then maybe you can relate in this way you just understand this is a concept in uh, equilateral and isosceles triangle median and altitude both are same they are not different uh, but for other types of triangles median is different than altitude median acts actually median is the line joins midpoint and top vertex altitude joins uh, the perpendicular line it is perpendicular to the base and uh, from the top vertex in isosceles and equilateral triangle it acts uh, as I mean median and altitude both are same okay that's it we have seen all the properties for the checkpoint uh, geometry in terms of angles um, so if you like the video just subscribe and then comment your doubts uh, share my channel with your friends they can get to know and just suggest me the topic what I have to do next We'll see the remaining topics of geometry in the further videos. Thanks for watching.